the sacred geometry of sound and vibration, and also the examples that we see in nature everywhere. The study of sacred geometry was passed down over thousands of years from the ancient mystery schools, and they even used it in construction. Now, the most common geometries considered sacred are the Egyptian flower of life, the Hebrew vesica, Pisces, and the Italian Boromian rings, also known as the Holy Trinity. Of course, there is there are a great many more, such as the Kabbalah, the seed of life, the platonic solids, the fruit of life, and so on. These geometries are sacred because they are the patterns in which creation manifests from stars to trees. These patterns are found throughout all of reality, even the galaxy swirls. Now, one of the uh, ways that it's, it's easiest to see is simply by looking at nature. We have uh, flowers as examples, the Borromanian rings, the Holy Trinity, and uh, others. Now, such geometry was described as emanations of Gnostics by Gnostics, indicating their awareness that they were patterns formed by the intersection or interferences and patterns of waves. And since music travels in waves, sacred geometry became intertwined with musica universalis, the ancient theory of everything. Through musical pro proportions, everything could be modeled using sacred geometry. To see how this works, consider the following musical chromatic ring divided into 12 equal sections according to the earlier harmonic color model. This is known as Z12Z cyclic ring model, where Z is a set of integers 1 through 12. The labels indicate bilateral symmetry between each half of the ring as divided by the harmonic axis through the harmonic center or harmonic partial 9. Spring symbols are used to indicate the regions where harmonics share energy, namely between the tritone and tonic major third. From the chromatic ring, a Joule's ring system can be used to geometrically represent the standard Fourier wave, consisting of complementary wave components, sine and cosine, in phase quadrature, out of phase by 90 degrees. To the ancients, this interlocking ring arrangement was known as the Vesia Pisces, or the Mandorla, referring to the union section of the two rings, in the Hebrew Kabbalah, all life is described as entering into the world through a mandorla interference region between the dual rings. And this can apply in many ways, all the way from humans being birthed through a female vagina all the way to the shape of a seed, which sprouts up and becomes a tree. The dual rings are a vertical criss, a cross section of the double torus produced by the Coriolis effect a geometry found in the formation of galaxies and our own solar system. Life, too, is toroidal like a hurricane twisting around an axis as seen in the swirl of hair at the crown of a head. When we are born, the birth canal is indeed a mandorla. For these and other reasons, the mandorla is used to frame religious icons and deities in Christianity, indicating their origination from the creation matrix. Now, moving beyond religious interpretations, we can better understand the physical properties of the dual rings by separating the 12 tones into two groups of six divided between the rings, one group in the top ring to represent sign components in phase with the harmonic center, D for harmonic series of C, and another group in the bottom ring to represent the complementary cosine components. The two groups of tones are known as whole tone scales of which there are only these two. Interestingly, we find that the mandorla corresponds to the so-called dominant interval, for example, G, B, and C minor, and C minor, used in common practice music to create tension and resolve to the tonic. This so-called dominant tonic resolution is used as a central element in music harmony to chain together a series of chords into which is called the cycle of fifths, when represented as a latest of interlocking Vesia Pisces, dominant triads can be seen to cascade through an orbit of 12 tones. When this same lattice progression is then transformed onto an orthogonal wave lattice using dominant seventh chords, 
something truly amazing happens. The cycle of fifths traces out the profile of a fish. In fact, the tense leading tone adds on to itself in such a way as to produce a prominent fin-like geometry, appearing very shark-like. Sacred geometry, indeed. Now, not only is life born uh, through the mandorla, but harmony of form is the inevitable self-organizing process of nature. This harmonic wave reflects inside round containers. They assume the same proportional shapes found in Z over a 12Z music harmony, a bilateral symmetry of harmonic proportion. Sacred geometry is nothing less than the visualization of physical musical concepts, the researchers say. This is by Jordan, The Spirit Science on uh, Humans Are Free by Alexander Light. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.